what's up? Black Eyes here. Today is Tuesday Cruise Day. And um, today, uh, Carnage and I, my 2020 Can-Am Rocket Rally, we're cruising to the lake. Um, just to take a few quick shots and just hang out for just a second. And then ride back. Thank you all for tuning in. I know it's been a minute, but work has been crazy. <clears throat> like I said, it was a Tuesday, uh, March the 9th, that I went out to the lake. I know today, it's probably Friday the 12th. Um, by the time this thing will get posted, and I apologize for that. Uh, before I go any further, I'd like to uh, wish a happy heavenly birthday to my grandma, my granny. I miss you and I love you. Uh, happy birthday in heaven, granny. Now, um, right here we're rolling. Slow tracking to the lake, going through town, of course, in Northport. No port, as we like to say. And, um... It was a warm day that day. Uh, it was probably close to 80 degrees, I guess. Somewhere in there. But it's supposed to be warmer the next couple of days. Like, like I said, today is Friday that it's being posted. And it's already in the 80s. But it's supposed to rain and get back cold and frost by next weekend but that's Alabama weather for you it's crazy I once again love 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 my Riker Rally aka Carnage and uh, I'm having a blast on them it, like I said it was a Christmas gift from my wife and the best Christmas gift ever this light took a long time, so we're going to cut up the video a little bit. Right about now. And here we are. I'm on uh, Highway 69 North. It's usually a pretty busy road, but I got lucky the uh, time I was going to the lake. Really, I was just going out to the lake. I finally upgraded my phone. So, uh, just wanted to test out the camera. And what better way is to ride up to the lake where the boats uh, dock or whatever. And just take a few quick shots and try the camera out. I did get a, uh, what is it, a Samsung uh, S21 Ultra 5G Ultra um, but I, I needed an upgrade and my wife she got the uh, 21 plus we both definitely needed an upgrade and uh, a long time coming so we decided to go big and get these and these will last us until <laughs> we absolutely have to have another one so I don't have this one for a while but anyway here we are here I am slow trekking just cruising up 69 and not a whole lot going on a little bit of traffic but not much especially not for this stretch of road there are a lot of accidents and a lot of, uh, unfortunately, a lot of casualties on this road. Uh, sorry about my camera. My camera was pointed a little further down than I would have liked, but I think I fix it later on. And either this video will be a part two to this one, uh, either this video or the next one. So right now you're just getting a good look at my at uh, my gauge and how fast I'm going. 
or how slow I'm going, depending on how you look at it. Once again, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Throw a comment in there if you like, and uh, I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next one's coming. I promise I'll get better with these, and I promise that uh, they'll be a little more frequent than they are now. Uh, like I said, work's been kind of crazy. It's 12 hour shifts and swing shift every week. Kind of takes a toll on you for a while. So, I apologize for that. And, uh, I'll get better, I promise. Shout out to the Riker community once again. Uh, one of the big, huge pluses about owning a Riker is definitely the Riker community. Such a wonderful and helpful and loving community that I am so blessed to be a part of. Shout out to uh, Grumpy Rider Riker, Riker Rider, and uh, he's always looking at my videos, and I'm always looking at his, and he's always throwing a comment in there, and I, I really appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. And just shout out to the whole Riker community in general. Like I said, it's, it's a wonderful community to be a part of. I'm definitely glad to be a part of it. So, Riker community, I'm asking you to please like and subscribe to my videos. It would really help me out. I'm trying to get me a few little subs in here. And I would appreciate it. As you can see, I'm keeping my head on a swivel. But there's always something trying to run out or something in the road or in the way or something there's always something going on down here <clears throat> I recently had a friend that was on his he was on a two wheel and he was riding to work one morning and a deer jumped out on him and he hit it and flipped over the bike and hurt himself pretty bad. But I'm, I'm glad to say that he's doing better now. But I don't know if he'll be riding any more bikes anytime soon, if at all. But I'm just glad that he's still here with us. And he's doing better. Right now, you can see the lake on the right as I'm crossing the bridge. Right there in the parking deck is... Uh, where people park and where they dock and get their boats and drop them off and stuff. And I'm going to turn in right here on this little road that just pops up all of a sudden. And that's where I'll end up in that little parking lot. And I'll probably take a few quick pictures of the lake and stuff and There we go. You have to be careful on this road too because people like to take up the whole road and especially going over that little hill. If you're not careful, they'll be in the middle of the road and meet your head on. So you have to be really careful going up and around that hill. And there I am. As you can see, it's quite a few people with their boats out. And here I am rolling up on the scene. And there's one dude there getting their boat about to head off. Head off. And there's another one pulling in. And I'm just trying to find me a little park. And there I go. Trying to find a spot to park. And I decided to just park right there in front of that bridge. I think it's that would be a good background to just test out the camera and take a few little snapshots or whatever 
So that's what I did. As soon as I stopped rolling, I was burning up in that jacket, so I had to come out of it quick. And as you can see, I'm parked. I take it back up and let you all see the beautiful scene, which would have been better if my camera was pointed upward, but there's the lake and everybody's all out and about on Lake Tuscaloosa and uh, pointing at my little caps that still are hanging in there that I got from Riker Wraps, the wheel cap covers and they're doing wonderfully. It's keeping the rust off, that's for sure. Or helping with the rust, rather. So I unhooked my phone from my ram mount. And I'll be taking a few quick pictures. Make sure my ram mount is on there tight and adjusted where I wanted it. And... Here I go, snap, snap, snap. Mm, I guess I lied. I thought I came out of my jacket, but I guess I kept it on. Well, I know when I was riding today, I took that thing off. Anyway, I posted some of the pictures on all of the uh, Riker groups on Facebook. So, um, if you want, you can just scroll through there and see the a couple of the pictures I took. Just look under Xavier Arrington. That's me, a.k.a. Black Ice. You'll see him. But I know I keep harping on everyone liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to keep on harping on it. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, man. Like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. Please, please, please. And I'm going to cut it, the commentary right here. And um, I'll just let you watch me take a few pictures and we'll shoot on to part two. Coming up soon. Once again, thank you all for tuning in to part one. Part two is on the way. So just stay tuned. Oh, one more thing. As always, watch out for that black ice on the road. Arrington. All day. Deuces. Stay tuned for part two.